is Amy Griffin from OverallQuilter.com. Welcome to Video 5, How to Join Strips for Borders and Bindings. Today we'll be using the Alpha Mat, Clover Silk Pins, Fonts and Porter Marking Pencil, a small ruler, and your strips. So we're going to join our strips together for borders or for um, doing your binding. And what I'm going to do is start by taking my first strip and laying it on my mat, lining it up with my grid. So this strip is laid horizontally. My next strip is going to lay on top of it, but vertically. And again, I'm going to follow my grid lines on my mat. This way I know that I am nice and straight horizontally as well as vertically. I also overlap top and bottom, or top and side, where my selvages are. And the reason I do that is that it's much easier to see your corners if you have a little bit of an overlap. Once you have one horizontal and one vertical, draw a diagonal line from the top corner, top left corner, to the bottom right corner. And then add two pins, one on each side of the line, just to keep your strips together. Now if you have multiple strips, then take your strip, flip it over, and now this strip becomes your horizontal, and your new strip becomes your vertical. Again, overlap it, leaving your selvages so that you can clearly see corner to corner. Draw your line. and pins on both sides of the line. Now the trick to having a perfect join is to make sure that you draw a straight line from that corner to that corner, but also to stitch right on top of that line from corner to corner. And we'll go to the sewing machine so we can show you how to do that. So now we're going to stitch right on top of the drawn line. I'm going to start with a little piece from my starter and I'm going to stitch right on top of that line. I've changed my foot to an open-toed foot or an applique foot because it's easier for me to see my stitching line. And once you've done your stitching, you should have a perfect join. And what I'm looking at is to make sure that my piece is nice and straight. Once I have a nice and straight piece, then I can go ahead and cut my quarter. And I just do it with my scissors. I just, an approximate quarter. And we'll take it to the ironing board and we'll press that seam open. And once that seam is pressed open, you'll have a nice join. And you do that with all your strips. 